Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to get this Veronica Lake hairstyle using the Chi Spin and Curl. This is a machine that I've had for a while now and this was my first time testing it and I have to say I absolutely love it. It gives a whole different type of curl than I'm used to. So I'm just going to take you step by step through how I did this tutorial. Normally I wouldn't do a voiceover. But this one was a little more complicated, so I thought it would be good to give you guys an in-depth um, description of what I'm doing. So just to start, combing out my hair, parting a nice side part um, pretty far over to get that Veronica Lake look. Then I'm just sectioning up the top layer of hair, getting it out of the way. I've put in my heat protectant always want to do that otherwise you will end up with very damaged hair probably wind up cutting it all off which happened to me about three years ago but that's a story for another time now to use the spin and curl I had a lot of trouble figuring this out so I'm showing you right in the middle here there's this black tube like thing you just lay the hair right on top of that and on the machine, it actually tells you this side toward head, which I didn't see. It was very small writing. So originally, I was trying to put the hair around the black centerpiece. It wasn't working, all that stuff. So I finally figured it out. The directions were not uh, very clear, and it was not intuitive to me how to do this. So just lay the hair right on that black piece in the center and then you're going to press one of the arrow buttons. You can choose what heat setting you want and how many seconds. I had it on 410 for 15 seconds and that worked really well for my hair type. I have thick, fairly coarse hair. If you have thinner hair, you might want to use a lower heat or damaged hair, lower heat. But I like that nice high heat to get a curl that's going to stay in my hair especially in the summer when the humid weather can really take your curls out. So I'm going to start on the side with the part, the smaller side, and I want the curls to go toward my face on this side. So for me, that's the button on the left. If you have your part on the other side, just choose the opposite button. And then I'm just putting my hair right along that black centerpiece holding down the button, it sucks the hair in, then it's going to wait a while, 15 seconds, and then it'll give four beeps and you let your hair out. And you'll see a really nice curl. And I'm just repeating that for the entire layer on the side. Now, if you accidentally put too much hair in, it's going to give this kind of loud beeping noise what you have to do is just gently pull your hair out, hold down the power button for it to reset. It, this happened to me a couple times as I was doing it. It didn't hurt, it didn't get tangled. I just gently pulled it out, everything was fine. Then I did it again, no big deal. So you wanna have big enough sections that you're not sitting here all day doing it, but not so big that things will get stuck. So you can see that I'm taking pieces that are maybe three quarters to an inch, um, but depending on your hair thickness, hair length, this will vary. I would suggest just trying it out and seeing what feels most comfortable for your hair type. For the other side of my head, I'm just repeating this. I'm still using the same direction as I was on the other side, but this means that since it's the opposite side, the hair will be going away from my face rather than towards it. And as I move to the top layer, I'm almost doing the same thing. So on the part with the side, the smaller section, I'm going away from my face. Now here what's different is that I'm going to start the curls about halfway down my hair to achieve that Veronica Lake-like hairstyle. Her curls started about at her cheekbone to her mid-cheek. That's what I'm doing. So depending on how long your hair is, you can start it you know, right there on your face. 
And as I move toward the back, I'm actually letting the hair start a little lower than each time before, just to give this kind of cascading look and the very smooth um, top of my head that's almost straight. Since this was the first time I was using this tool, I decided to film myself doing it. I wasn't sure that it was gonna turn out, so I didn't blow dry my hair straight or anything before this. I just, I had washed it the day before, kind of combed it out, slept on it, so it's a little messy. Uh, not quite as smooth as I would have liked, but the end result with this curler, really, it didn't matter to me. But if you want that super smooth look, I would suggest blow drying it nice and straight before you start. Now, on the other side of my head, I've again sectioned it off because this side has a little more hair. And the bottom layer is slightly different. The back pieces are again going the same direction away from the face. And then this front piece, I'm curling toward the face. And as we move on to the very top layer, again, the pieces closer to the back of the head are going to go away from the face. And then I'm sectioning off my bangs and I'm splitting them into two pieces. And when I put the curler up, I'm getting as close to my head as I can. And that will give me that beautiful Veronica Lake curl that I'm looking for. So I'm doing this in two sections, right up against the head. And we have a really gorgeous curl that looks quite a bit different from the other ones even though we're really not doing too much different. So once all of your curls are done, you just want to gently comb it out with a nice big brush and have all those curls really meld together, a soft, beautiful, cascading look. And I'm just going to add a little bit of rose oil to my hair to give it an extra little smooth shine. And if you do use something like this, um, just make sure you don't use too much. It can really weigh down the hair. That's not what we want. We want to keep it nice and light and beautiful. And then you're all set. Everything's done. You can pair this with a beautiful red lip, a cat eye, something reminiscent of the 1940s, or just your usual makeup, anything. I think this look, while reminiscent of those vintage hairstyles, it's also just a gorgeous look for every day. I think we've seen this kind of look coming back a lot on the red carpet and I am in love with it. I can't wait to try some different styles with this curler. I'm a little obsessed at the moment because as I said, I've been using my baby list for so long, which I still love, but I didn't think I'd find another curler like this that can achieve such a gorgeous look. And I just wanna point out that I know most of these old hairstyles obviously used the old-fashioned curlers and that's a great way to get a lot of these looks. I find when I use curlers, I always have trouble with them. They leave dents in my hair, the curls don't stay as well. So that's why I'm always excited when I find a hair tool that's modern and can give me the look that I want without having to use the old fashioned products. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gives you some good ideas. And if you wanna buy this product, when I looked it up, it seemed to run between 75 and $110. I think I got mine at TJ Maxx, but I bought it such a long time ago and I've never tried it before that I actually don't remember. For me, it would be worth it to spend that money on a really great hair tool. I probably wouldn't spend that on a regular curling iron that doesn't do something like this. And let me know if you wanna see some different looks that you can do with this curling iron. I will be experimenting with it. Again, this was the first time I've used it and I think it went really well which is such a bonus because often it takes a while to get into the swing of using something new. And as always, feel free to request some new looks, makeup, hair, anything you can think of, the old Hollywood, modern. I love suggestions and I love hearing from you guys. So feel free to leave comments 
And if you haven't already, please subscribe. It really means a lot to me.